in groups. Friends, today in this video, we are going to learn counting in groups through the conversation of Honey Bunny and Bunty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. How are you, Bunny? I am absolutely fine. Look, I have made a bouquet with flowers of different colors for you. Oh, wow, Bunny! You have done a wonderful job by putting all flowers in pairs in this bouquet. What is this pair now? Hey! Actually, pair means a group of two similar things. Look, this has two red flowers, two yellow flowers, and two pink flowers. Oh yes, honey, this bouquet has three pairs of flowers. Yes, so there are six flowers. A total of three pairs. Oh wow! It is very interesting to count in pairs. Honey, will you come to my house and help me in counting carrots? Yes, let's go, Bunny. Oh ho, Bunny! There is a pile of carrots here. For this. We will have to take someone else's help. Look, Bunty is coming. Come on, let us seek his help. Hey, Bunty, how should we count these carrots? Come on, let us count them in groups of five. We will count these carrots by making them into small groups. Look here, there are five carrots. Five carrots, five carrots, five carrots, five carrots, and here are also remaining five carrots. So tell me, how many groups of carrots are there? There, there are, are total, total six, six groups, groups of five carrots each. But Bunty, how many carrots are there in total? Hey, Bunny, come on, let's count them together. Just look, there are five carrots, and adding the second groups of five carrots, they became ten carrots, and adding five carrots, then total fifteen. And similarly, if we add five thrice again, we will get a total of thirty carrots. So that means we have total thirty carrots. Oh wow! Now I have learned to make groups and also to count in groups. Bunty, can we again make a pile of these carrots, place them in groups of ten, and count them? Yes, surely. But this time, Bunny will make groups of ten, right, Bunny? Yes. Look, honey, these are ten carrots, ten carrots, and the remaining ten carrots. So here we have ten, ten, and ten. Total thirty carrots. Well done, Bunny. Very good. Okay, now I will leave. Thank, Thank you, you Bunty. Bunty. Today, in this video. We have learned counting in groups. In the next video, we will understand 
the process of counting in groups a little better through examples. Friends, today in this video, we will understand more about the process of counting in groups with a few interesting examples. Hey, look honey, there are so many mice here. Yes, there are many. Come on, let us count them. Honey, look carefully. They can all be seen in groups. Yes, there are three groups of mice here. Just look carefully. All the groups don't have the same number of mice. Oh yes, there are five mice in this first group. Four in the second group and five in the third group. That means there are two groups with five mice each and one group with four mice here. So how many mice would be there in total? For that, we will add the number of mice in all three groups. But honey, if we find out the total number of mice in the two groups of five each, it would be ten. In which, if we add the remaining four, that is, if we add four to ten, the total number of mice here will be 14. Well done, Bunny. You found out the number of mice with an easy method. Come on, now let us look at another example. Bunny, can you tell me that how many pairs of walkie-talkies are over here? A pair means a group of two similar things. Isn't it? Yes, that is right, Bunny. Come on, let us count together. Here, in the first line, there are four pairs. In the second line, also four. That is, there are eight pairs in total. If we add four pairs from the third line, then how many pairs will be there in total? If we add the four pairs of the third line, there will be twelve pairs. And adding 4 from the 4th line, 16. So, there are 16 pairs of walkie-talkies here. Yes, Bunny, now tell us that if there are 16 pairs of walkie-talkies, then how many walkie-talkies are there in all? There are 16 pairs of walkie-talkies. Every pair has 2 walkie-talkies. That means there is a total of 32 walkie-talkies. Well done, Bunny! Children, I hope that you must have well understood the process of counting in groups. In the next video, we will watch some interesting examples related to this. Friends, today we will learn some interesting facts about counting in groups through examples. What are you doing with so many tops over here? I am playing with them. Bunny, can you guess and tell me that how many tops are there? There are two and two four groups. That means there are four tops in total. No, there are groups of five tops each. Means there are total twenty tops. Oh yes, I don't have to tell how many groups are there. But I have to tell how many tops are there in total. Honey, do you understand? 
that we don't have to count the groups of five every time. If we know the total number of items in one group, then we can find out the total number of items in different groups. Yes, I have understood it very well. Come on, honey. Now you tell me how many marbles are there in each box? Hmm. There are five and five. Ten marbles in each box. Now try to guess how many marbles are there in total. Each box has ten marbles. And if there are three such boxes, the total number of marbles is thirty. Now look. There are 15 marbles here. So how many such boxes can we fill with 15 marbles? In one box we will fill 5 and 5, 10 marbles. And in the second box we will fill only 5 marbles. This is why it will not be completely full. So with 15 marbles we can completely fill one box. Well done. Now tell me, what is the total number of marbles here? Here we have 10 and 10, 20, 20 and 10, 30, 30 and 10, 40, 40 and 5, 45 marbles in total. Well done, honey. Listen, day after tomorrow, we are celebrating my sister's birthday party. So you both have to come over there. Yes, Bunty, we will surely come. Yes, Bunty, we will surely come. Bye-bye. Friends, today we saw some examples of counting in groups. In the next video, let us meet at Bunty and his sister Bubbly's birthday party. There we will learn the sequence of numbers. Order of Numbers Friends, today in this video we will learn Order of Numbers. Today both my elder brother and I are celebrating our birthday. Welcome to the party. Look honey, Bunty is older than Bubbly. But still, both their birthday cakes have equal number of candles. Oh no, Bunny. Bunty's cake has more candles on it. Come on, let's count them. See, one of Bubbly's candles and this one of Bunty's candles. This makes it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 candles. And Bunty's candles... One, two, three, four, five candles. And we can see three more candles in Bunty's cake. That means the number of candles in Bubbly's cake is lesser than the number of candles in Bunty's cake. Bunty has three more candles. Bubbly has total of five candles. So how many candles would Bunty have? Bunty will have three more candles that make six, seven and eight. Bunty has a total of eight candles on his cake. This shows that Bunty is eight years old and Bubbly is five years old. Number five is smaller than number eight. While counting, we always count from smaller number to bigger number. Counting on this basis, can you tell me which number comes first? 5 or 8? 5 comes first in counting. Absolutely correct. While counting 5 comes first, then 6, 7, 8. This shows that 8 is a bigger number because it comes after 5. Oh yes, you are right. Honey, 
कैन यू टेल मी हाउ मैनी बलून्स डू बंटी एंड बबली हैव विद देम बंटी हैज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन एंड ट्वेल्व बलून्स एंड बबली हैज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन बलून्स नाउ टेल मी ऑफ बंटी एंड बबली हु हैज मोर बलून्स सी बनी बंटी हैज ट्वेल्व बलून्स and bubbly has 15 balloons so here bubbly has more balloons than bunty 15 is a bigger number and 12 is a smaller number compared to it now tell me which number comes first in the order of counting is it number 12 or number 15 while counting 12 comes first then comes 13 14 15 Now tell me how many more balloons does Bubbly have? Here is one balloon of Bunty's. Here one of Bubbly's. Two balloons of Bunty and two balloons of Bubbly. Similarly, both of them have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 bunty has 12 balloons and bubbly too has 12 balloons oh what is this bunty is left with no more balloons but bubbly still has 3 balloons left with her so we can say that bubbly has 3 more balloons than bunty that is she has 15 balloons with her come let's cut the cake Everyone wear your caps Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Come, Come on. on Now, Now let, let us, us all go, go. Okay bye bye Children in this video we learned about the order of numbers In the next video with the help of some interesting examples we can understand it better children in this video we will understand the order of numbers better with the help of some interesting examples hey honey look there are two boxes of balls here which box has more balls in it one box here has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 balls and the second box has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 balls so the first box has more balls than the second box while counting which number comes first 8 or 10 yes while counting Eight comes first, so eight comes before ten. Absolutely right. Eight is smaller than ten. That is why eight comes before ten in the order of counting. Now tell me, honey, what is the total number of balls in both the boxes? In both the boxes, there are total of ten and eight. That is eighteen balls. I will keep a third box here. It has 9 balls. Now tell me, out of the 3 given boxes, 
विच वन हैज द लीस्ट नंबर ऑफ बॉल्स द फर्स्ट बॉक्स हियर हैज टेन बॉल्स द सेकेंड हैज एट बॉल्स एंड द थर्ड बॉक्स हैज नाइन बॉल्स वाइल काउंटिंग फ्रॉम वन टू टेन एट कम्स बिफोर नाइन एंड टेन वी कैन सी दैट द स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर हियर इज एट दैट इज वाई द सेकेंड बॉक्स हैज द लीस्ट नंबर ऑफ बॉल्स एंड द लार्जेस्ट नंबर हियर इज टेन एंड हैंस द फर्स्ट बॉक्स हैज द लार्जेस्ट नंबर ऑफ बॉल्स वेल डन हनी नाउ टेल मी हाउ डू वी से टेन एट नाइन इन द ऑर्डर ऑफ काउंटिंग येस वाइल काउंटिंग वी फर्स्ट से एट एंड देन वी से नाइन एंड टेन एब्सिल्यूटली राइट हनी इट इज सेड इन द ऑर्डर ऑफ एट नाइन टेन Wow that's right come on let's all go children i hope you have understand small and large numbers and also understood order of numbers very well in next video we shall see some more examples children today let us look at some more interesting examples of the order of numbers okay honey now you have understood how to find the big number and the small number of two given numbers now tell me here we have three cards with matchsticks arranged on them how will you place the cards in order according to the number of matchsticks on them let's see the first group of matchsticks on the yellow card there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 matchsticks to this first group of 10 matchsticks we add the next group There will be a total of 20 matchsticks and adding the remaining 7 matchsticks to this we get a total of 27 matchsticks. And the matchsticks on the pink card? Oh yes, the first group on the pink card has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 ten matchsticks. To this first group if we add the next group the total number of matchsticks will be 20 To this 20 matchsticks if we add the next group we get 30 matchsticks that means the pink card has 30 matchsticks in all Can you tell me how many matchsticks are there on the green card The first group of matchsticks on the green card has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 ten matchsticks if we add the next group to the first group of 10 there will be 20 matchsticks and adding these four remaining matchsticks gives us 24 matchsticks in total so you would have understood that counting in order we get 24 25 Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. Here, the green card has the least matchsticks, and the pink card has the maximum number of matchsticks. So, if we have to arrange them in order to small to big, we will place the green card ahead of all, then the yellow card and the pink card in the end. children today we learn how to find small and big numbers with the help of 
few matchsticks in the next video we will understand about the ordinal numbers Thank <laughs> you.